everyone welcome back to my channel i'm ask amber and in this video series we are creating a model in blender from start to finish that's ready to go into unity for vr chat in this video i'm going to show you the power of shape keys also known as blend shapes shape keys and blend shapes are the same thing they just use different names in unity and in blender in Blender, we call them shape keys. There are so many things you can do with shape keys and they are so incredibly easy to create and to utilize. Let's get started. I'm just gonna show you a couple of things about shape keys that you may not know already. So let's say I want to create a new shape key, but I don't wanna make it from scratch. I just wanna use two of my other shape keys that I already have. This especially works well for faces. So let's go up to the head and I'll show you how to make a custom shape key for your head. I want to do some specific faces. Let's say I want to combine a couple of shape keys. I want to combine smile small. So I will totally turn that all the way up. I also want blink happy. So I'll put that in there. And you don't have to have it all the way up. You can do it at whatever level you want. I want some happy eyebrows. And I really like this face. And I say, okay, well, I can go into Unity and select all of these individual things, make the animation for this shape. Or what you can do is click this little down arrow and you click new shape key from mix, which is basically going to create a new shape key at the very bottom. And this shape key is going to have a combination of all the other things that you did. So like, let's say this was only at 50%, it would still copy this exact shape key onto a new one. And then I could say that I want this to be Amber's happy face. And then I'm gonna click this little X to take all of these other shape keys that I have up off. And as you can see, even though none of them are on right now, if I were to choose Amber's happy face and turn it all the way up, there you go. I have a new shape key from Mix and you can create shape keys in unlimited quantities from all the different variations that you could possibly want and get them all done in Blender before you even ever get to Unity. But for this tutorial, we are making the pants. If these pants didn't fit very well or if I had a hard time with clipping in a bunch of different areas, I'm gonna show you how to make a shape key to make your legs fit into these pants and basically go invisible as close as possible when you're wearing the pants so that there's absolutely no chance of clipping. So the first thing I'm gonna do is select my body, which is what I wanna add my shape key to. And it's gonna be really easy for me if I can just hide all the rest of the things that I don't need. So far, it's just the tail that would be in the way. So I'm gonna select my body and I'm gonna click on this little triangle icon. And this contains my vertex groups and the second one down is shape keys. So I already have some shape keys on my body right here. And what I'm gonna do is create a new one. So I'm just gonna click the plus button and I'm gonna rename this shape key to skinny legs because I want my legs to basically be super, super skinny inside these pants so that you will never ever see them. So now that I have this selected and not the basis, I have skinny legs selected. I'm gonna leave it at zero. That's totally fine because we are gonna use the edit tool and not the sculpt tool. If you wanted to use the sculpt tool on a shape key, you have to make sure that your weight is set all the way up to one and then you can use the sculpt mode easily and sculpt anything you want on the legs but right now we are going to use edit mode so it doesn't matter whether it's on one or whether it's on zero as long as this is selected so i'm going to make sure the body is selected make sure that the skinny legs shape key that i just created is selected and i'm going to click tab now I can't see any of the rest of the body under these pants. So in order to see through all of my polygons, I'm going to click Alt Z and that will show me every polygon. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to select the entire area of the body and shift select everything within this area of the legs that I want to make skinnier so that I don't have any issues with clipping at all. And now I want to make sure that when I scale something, if I were to push S and scale right now, it would scale them down. And that's a really weird way to do it because then they would still clip definitely no matter what. So when I scale, I want to make sure that I have my transform pivot point set correctly. So I'm going to set it to individual origins, which means each individual piece is going to scale towards their own center. So when I scale it now, they're each scaling towards their own instead of towards each other. Now that that's set, I do want to scale these down, but I also don't want them to get shorter because then when my bones move these, they're still going to stick out at weird ways. I want the bones to still be accurate to 
my mesh. So in order to do that, while I'm scaling, I'm going to restrict my scaling so that it is not allowed to, to go up and down. It's only allowed to go left and right and front and back because we still want the up and down part to be the same so that the bones can access them without clipping them outside the body. In order to do that, I'm going to hit Shift Z, which means I'm going to restrict access to Z and Z is not allowed to shift at all. And I'm going to continue to shrink these down. Now one more thing before we actually do it is we are going to turn on proportional editing. Now this means that it's going to kind of grab other pieces outside of what's selected and also shift them with it. So because I'm doing proportional editing, I'm just going to go a little bit further down so that it doesn't move any of my hips or anything like that. And when you scale it down now, you can see it's scaling like everything. So just use your scroll wheel to get this big circle down to the point where it's only pulling a little tiny bit of extra. So not too much extra. Make sure you click Shift Z so you restrict access on the Z axis. And then you're just going to make those legs real, real, real skinny. And there you go. Now your legs are extremely skinny. But if you were to look on the outside, you cannot see them from the pants. So they're still going to move within the pants, but there's absolutely no way that they can clip because they are so skinny. And if you look in here, it doesn't show the actual legs being skinny because your shape key is set to zero. But look what happens when I turn it to one. There you go. There's your shape key. So now whenever you make a animation in Unity to turn your pants on, you're also going to be turning on this shape key to 100% so that when your pants are on, this shape key is active and your legs absolutely cannot clip through anything on your model. This is by far the best way I have found for tricky models that don't want to weight paint correctly for outfits that are really persnickety and they don't want to do what you want them to do. You just create their own shape key and then they will do exactly what you want. So I'm going to go ahead and take that off, put my sweats back on, and there you go. So just as a quick review, you can combine shape keys by turning up your shape keys to whatever you want and then creating a new shape from mix. You can create an entirely new shape key and then edit it and then that edit will stay so that your regular model will be as it is and then once you turn it on then your shape key will turn all the way up to the selection that you edited. Make sure that after you're done editing your shape keys that you click back onto the basis which is the natural state in which your avatar is so that you don't mess up anything on your shape keys if editing at a later time. Believe me I've done that a few times and it's not the greatest. And there's two ways to edit your shape keys. You can either Click on the shape key itself and click tab to go into edit mode so that it edits and you can see here on thigh squish you can see the edited thigh squish is there or if you want to sculpt your shape keys you just have to turn your shape key all the way up totally before you enter sculpt mode. And then of course make sure that you have that item selected before you try to sculpt in sculpt mode and then it will sculpt however you want and then when you take it all the way down to one it'll go back in place. So I'm going to undo those that I just did, turn it down to zero, turn my sweats back on and you're good to go. I hope this video helped you out and gave you some new tips and tricks and ideas on how to get really customized and personalized models without having the annoyance of having everything clip through everything else. If you want more videos on how to get your model from start to finish in Blender, getting it ready for Unity and adding all the different assets that you want to add to it, make sure you check out the rest of the videos in this series. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you have a fantastic day. I love you so much and I'll see you in the next one.